What's good, Cos? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm bringing you all another MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty video. And in today's video, we are starting my updated top 10 rankings for every single position in Diamond Dynasty because we have new Tops Now cards, new World Series cards, August Player of the Month, and Team Affinity Season 4. So, so many new cards that need to be included on these rankings lists. And we're starting today with my new updated top 10 shortstops. We'll be having a second video coming out today of my top 10 third baseman. Also, we'll be covering the 3,000 milestone max shirt a program that will be coming out today so two more videos today so make sure to turn the notification bell on make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new i would greatly appreciate it we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers about 500 away so help out the channel by hitting that sub button but without further ado i hope you all enjoy the video and let's get it Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub count. Take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so high. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back on MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty, and today we are starting my top 10 updated rankings for every single position in the game. We have new Tops Now cards, new World Series cards, Team Affinity Season 4, Player of the Month, so many new cards in the game, so we gotta see who are the new best players at every single position, and today we're gonna start things off with the shortstop, one of the most stacked and important positions in the game right now. So many good options, just like my other rankings though, these are going to be just my opinion, so if you agree or disagree with me, that is completely okay feel free to leave your top 10 shortstops in the comments down below but with that being said Let's get into it. Coming in to get us started is going to be the 99 overall MVP Jimmy Rollins that just released in the Team Affinity Season 4 program. On paper, they cheated him on the stats. They did not give him good stats, but luckily he plays above his stats for me and other people that have used him that lands him on this top 10 list. At number 10, he's a switch hitting bat. Like I said, the stats don't tell the entire story here. That's why it's important. Don't always look at the stats. Some cards play better in game than some other cards. The only good hitting stat he has is 111 contact against lefties. Other than that, every other hitting stat below 100. 93 contact against righties, 81 power against righties, and 82 against lefties. Fielding and speed, though, very, very good, so that helps him land on the top 10 list as well, with 92 fielding, 94 arm, 85 arm accuracy, and 90 reaction time, also at 93 speed, and 95 still. If this card was better at the plate, he would be higher up on the list. If you want to pick up this Jimmy Rollins, go get him in the NL East Team Affinity Season 4. Coming in at number 9 is going to be another card from the Team Affinity Season 4 program, and that is the 98 Marco Luciano, with diamond hitting and diamond defense, and across the board, pretty much, this card is good. He's not bad. He's not great. He does everything okay, but he doesn't stand out anywhere. 108 contest against righties. 91 against lefties is okay. 100 power against righties and 106 against lefties is pretty good. Fielding stats are pretty good too. 82 fielding, 91 arm, 86 arm accuracy, and 80 reaction time with 70 speed and 44 steal. Feel like they just gave him good stats across the board. Didn't want to make him bad in one category or great in another category. That's why he finds himself at number nine. Can't put him higher. Can't put him lower. Pretty solid card. If you're a Giants fan, maybe he makes your Giants theme team. If you want to pick him up, he's in the NL West Team Affinity Season 4. Coming in number 8 is the 96 All-Star Game Xander Bogart with diamond hitting and diamond defense. And this card is great for Legend or Hall of Fame games because he does have that great contact and that great contact is going to help you have a bigger PCI size on Hall of Fame and on Legend with 122 contact against righties, 116 against lefties, and decent power numbers for a shortstop. They're not outstanding, but they're not horrible either. 89 power against righties, 91 against lefties, good fielder, 80s across the board solid speed as well with 62 speed and 18 still this card also one of the best cards on a budget he's a top eight shortstop and if you want to pick him up he's only 7k on the market very very good card for a very cheap price coming in number seven is gonna be the 96 silver slugger trevor story and this was one of my favorite cards in the game the entire year he was great for me have him all the way up to parallel four he was my starting shortstop for well over a month but at this point in the game just not one of the best shortstops in the game anymore but he's a top seven shortstop still not bad and he's definitely the best defensive shortstop in the game. Look at those defensive stats. 99 fielding, 96 arm, 92 arm accuracy, and 99 reaction time with 91 speed and 55 steal. And he's not bad at the plate at this point in the year. Still has one of the best swings in the game, in my opinion, for a shortstop. 96 contact against righties, 110 against lefties, 104 power against righties, and 94 against lefties. Still one of my favorite cards in the game. Probably going to make a team build filled with my favorite cards that I used throughout the year. And this Trevor Story will definitely find himself 
on it. At this point, he's definitely falling down in price, but he's still a little expensive compared to that Xander Bogart you get for 7K. But if you want to go out and try this Trevor Story, 70K on the market. Coming in number six is the 99 Tim Anderson from the Field of Dreams Tops Now Moments. And this card shows you why MLB The Show Diamond Dynasty is one of the best, if not the best, ultimate team modes throughout all the sports games because this card was absolutely free and took you about five moments to complete and you got a free 99 overall card. You just can't beat that. And he has great stats. He's great in game. But like I said, the shortstop position is just so stacked at this point. That's why he finds himself at number six. The contact stats, very good for those higher difficulties. Hall of Fame and Legend. 109 contact against righties. 119 against lefties. Power is really good for a shortstop. 99 against righties. 109 against lefties. Pretty good swing as well. And then fielding stats, 80 or above. 90 fielding and 91 reaction time. Really like that. Also comes with 80 speed and 61 still. So he checks all the box. He's a good hitter, good fielder, and good speed. And if you want to pick him up, like I said earlier, completely free in the Field of Dreams tops now moments. Now, before I get into my top five shortstops in the game right now, if you're enjoying the video and you're finding it useful, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. I have another video coming out later today of the top 10 third baseman in the game. So make sure to look out for that one. Also, I will be covering the new 3,000 strikeout milestone player program for Max Scherz that will be coming out today as well. So two more videos. So make sure to turn on notification bell on. Look out for those videos, but let's get back into it. Coming in number five is going to be the 99 Wander Franco. And this card, like the Tim Anderson, checks all the boxes. And he checks an extra box over the Tim Anderson because he's a switch hitter. Great contact stats for those higher divisions once again. 119 contact against righties. 107 against lefties. Power is good. Could be a little bit better. 96 power against righties. 86 against lefties. Very good fielder. 89 fielding. 94 arm. 92 arm accuracy. And 88 reaction time. And then 86 speed and 66 steal. If you want to put him in a different spot in the infield, he can do that for you as well if you want to put him at second or third base because there's a lot of good shortstops on this list. You could use this Wander card at third base. If you don't have Chipper Jones, he's like a budget Chipper Jones in my opinion. If you want to pick up the Wander, very good card. He's 112k on the market. Now at number four, this is where this list gets extremely difficult to rank because all these shortstops are great in this game. Wouldn't mind if you put any of these shortstops at number one, but these are going to be my top four. So let's start things off with 99 Barry Larkin at number four. He has 100 plus hitting stats across the board. You can't go wrong with that. 100 contact against righties, 100 against lefties, 100 power against righties, 114 against lefties, even has over 100 vision, discipline, and clutches with a glitchy swing. He's a good fielder, 87 fielding, 82 arm, 82 arm accuracy, 84 reaction time, also comes with great speed, 91 speed, 90 still, unfortunately, no secondary positions, so he can only play shortstop, or that fielding is going to take a very big dip because it's not a secondary position, it's going to be out of position, but this Barry Larkin, gonna put him at number four for reasons I'll get into when we get to number three and higher up on the list, but he's still a great card. At number three, I'm going with the 99 Francisco Lindor. Gonna give this card the nod over the Barry Larkin because he's a switch hitter, has a little bit better contact than the Barry Larkin, and personally, I like the swing of Lindor a little bit better than I like the swing of Barry Larkin. Also in ranked seasons, this card is always a tough out for me when I face him. I can never strike him out. Not sure why. He always terrorizes me on online ranked seasons. 103 contact against righties, 115 against lefties. Same power against righties as Barry Larkin. Both of them have 100. Barry Larkin does have better power against lefties than the Lindor card has, but Lindor is a better fielder. 97 fielding, 99 reaction time, 83 arm, and 88 arm accuracy. Larkin is faster than Lindor. 74 speed, 65 steal for Lindor. So if you want to go Larkin at 3, Lindor at 4, you can do that. But personally, because I like Lindor's swing better, he's a better fielder. I will go with Lindor over the Barry Larkin. But this card, extremely difficult to get right now. 300k on the market, or you can get him in rank season. At number two, I have the 98 Trey Turner. It pains me to not have him as the number one shortstop because this card is just so good. 113 contact against righties, 125 against lefties, 102 power against righties, and 88 against lefties, but I swear, the ball flies off this card's bat. He might as well have 125 power against both sides. I absolutely love this Trey Turner card at the plate, but the defense is a different story. This card consistently makes errors for me, and then he makes great plays after. It's so weird. He is just not consistent in the field. Sometimes he has trouble bobbling the ball. Sometimes his arm is not good enough to get it over to first base when making a tough play at shortstop, and that's the reason reason I got to put him at number two here. Mid-70s fielding stats across the board. Obviously has that 99 speed 
and that 95 steel. But compared to who we're going to have at number one, who we're going to talk about in a second, he's almost the hitter that Trey Turner is, but he's way better in the field. And he still has great, great speed. But this Trey Turner is still an amazing card. If you want to use number one at shortstop and move this Trey Turner to second base, I think that would work perfectly. So if you want to pick up this Trey Turner, you need to get him in the NL East Team Affinity Season 3. And last but not least, at number one, we're going to have the new 99 Hannes Wagner from the Team Affinity Season 4 program. This card is like a better Jackie Robinson, in my opinion. Contact is great. Better power than the Jackie. 117 contact against righties. 125 against lefties. 90 power against righties. 91 against lefties. Pretty good swing. Not a great swing, but a pretty good swing from Hannes here. And then he's a great fielder. That's why I'm putting him over the Trey Turner. 91 fielding. 91 arm. 86 arm accuracy and 87 reaction time. You know you're not going to have a liability at shortstop when making plays when you have this Hannes Wagner over the Trey Turner. And then he has 96 speed and 99 steel. So Turner has that 99 speed. But if you get this Hannes Wagner to parallel four, he'll also have 99 speed. Also, if you wanted to use this Hannes Wagner in a different position, he is extremely versatile. If you didn't want to use him at shortstop, he could play first base, second base, third base, and left field. But he's almost the hitter that Trey Turner is. He's a way better fielder, and they pretty much have the same exact speed. That's why I'm going to put Wagner at one and Trey Turner at two. If you want to pick up this Wagner, he's in the NL Central Team of Finney, Season 4. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for the video today. My new top 10 shortstops in the game right now, including all the new Team of Finney cards, new Player of the Month, new tops now, new World Series awards. We included it all. So let me know in the comments down below. Did you agree? Or disagree with my list that is completely okay if you did disagree leave me your top 10 shortstops in the comments down below but if you did enjoy the video though and you found it useful do me a favor hit the like button hit that subscribe button if you are new we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers it is completely free to hit that sub button it helps the channel out a bunch also make sure to follow my social links which are on the screen for you all right now including my twitter tiktok instagram twitch stuff like that but that's to do for me today everyone i will see you all in the next video have a great rest of your day peace out